Right guys, we're back and I did a video a couple of days ago about um, putting the logos in the Football Manager. Um, this time it's going to be the other graphics, so not logos, obviously we've got logos just there in the, in the graphics folder. But this time I want to show you how to put faces and um, kits in the game too. So as you can see from my Football Manager, um, oh that's Italy, that's Italy. So, which league is it that's not got the kits? Is it the Premier League? I'm pretty sure the Premier League don't have kits. All right. Let me look at Man City. Yeah, so no kits. So, I'll tell you what, we'll use Man City as an example because they're just there. Right. So, as you can see, I've got logos in this folder, like I showed in the last video, and that means we've got logos in game, as you've just seen. Right there, on the top left of the screen there. Right. Okay, so, this is the way to do it. Um, first of all, you need to download win dot uh, win dash com. Uh, you'll get a folder that look like this with the three little books. Um, it's called a win ra zip archive. So if you don't know how to do it, I'll put the link in the uh, in the description below on where to download it. But yeah, as soon as you've got that and you download your graphics from, I'll put the links in the description of the graphics too. Once you've got that, um, all you have to do is you'll have files like these. I would imagine um, you copy or or cut them into your graphics folder. And you right click on them and you extract here. Now, I'm not going to do that because it's going to take a while. That, that's, that's a 16 gigabyte file. It'll take ages. We'll be sat here for just so long. So I'll put my graphics into my videos folder. It makes no sense, but just so I know where it is. Um, these are my stadium backgrounds, actually. You can actually put stadium backgrounds in there. I've got all the countries. Um, they're online too somewhere. But for the purpose of the video today, I've got kits. And I also have face packs. So what we're going to do is, I've already got my face packs and my kits. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to right click. I know you guys can't see what option I'm clicking here because it's on Streamlabs. But I'm going down to cut. Uh, you can go to copy. You can do whatever you want. Um, I'm going to go to cut. And then I'm going to go back up to my documents. Uh, my Sports Interactive for Manager. The graphics folder that you made from the last video. You go into here. And then you can control and V. Or you can right click and paste, whatever you want, and then they show up in here. Um, it's not a long thing. This is not going to be a long video. I'm going to make sure that people can watch uh, and don't have to drag it out. But you put them in there. Um, you can also put your stadium backgrounds in there, but I'm, for the purpose of this video... In fact, do you know what? I'll do it. So you can see there's no backgrounds at the back. Nope, just totally black, the, sc the skin. Um, if you want to put the backgrounds in too, you can do that. You can go to your... Documents. I thought there was a quick shortcut there. There isn't. Uh, graphics. And then you can paste that in as well. Control and V or right click and paste. They're all in there. All your graphics inside the graphics folder that you have to make yourself. Now, they're all in there, right? Okay, so we've got... That's that's gone. Disappeared. We're done. That's fine. We haven't got the kits. If I click on Pep, we haven't got his face. It's just a silhouette. Okay, and there's no backgrounds. So that's three things that we want. So if we go to Preferences again, same as last time. Um, we hit on, we go to reset, we hit, uh, clear cache, click that real quick. Um, and then it sort of does like a little change in the background and then click reload skin. Now, again, if you didn't watch the last video and you're watching this one first, I'm going to put it in here too. Um, what you have to do for here is you have to click, put reload at the top like that. And this, this little option comes up. Now, if you untick that, which is what it will be by default, there won't be an option to reload your skin. So you have to click this. And it appears down here. Yep. Click the reload skin on confirm after you've done the cache. You have to do the clear cache. You have to do that. Make sure you do that. That's the most important step. And then reload skin. And they all should appear. The backgrounds you'll see first, I would imagine. The Man City Stadium should be just behind. When it finally, finally does it. There we are. So you can see the Etihad. It's empty. Um, you can make jokes there if you want. <laughs> <laughs> but um, click club info no not club info because I'm actually the manager of Palmer on this one click the overview the kits are there nice one now face packs are also there so we've got a, a hat trick stadiums kits faces and the last video I did logos it's pretty much similar very similar if not the same um, and that's going to be it it's, a, it's not even a five minute video guys so thank you for watching if you like the video subscribe hit the like button 
get it out there to everybody else because it's a very valuable part of FM, really. I think it becomes more immersive when you've got all the graphics. So, yeah, do all that good stuff. Support the channel, please. And until next time, thank you for watching. Goodbye.